Hello everyone. I am going to show you how to make one of these beautiful little le or leaves, arrows. Let me show you it up close. I want to put down a piece of paper. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these. This one here is oh roughly three inches and just depending on how long your feather is because it's made with a toothpick. So I am going to show you how to make it on a barbecue skewer and this one is 10 inches long and I'm going to be using this red jute because it looks really nice with this red feather that looks really fabulous with this red glitter paper. It's gorgeous. I couldn't believe it when I had stuff that all blended together. So um, I love how this looks. I'm really excited to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and just actually pull out some of this jute so I, because I'm going to cut off a piece because you have to use the back side of it. Now I haven't made one this size so um, I'm just going to guess on how much I need and then we'll measure it just so that we know for this if, when I make another one if I ever make another one this size so this I'm going to use oh it looks like about 14 inches so I'm going to cut off that much it might be 15 inches because I'm going to cut it right to my rubber band there so there's my piece of jute and so and I don't remember where I got this it might have been at the Dollar Tree or something. I'm not sure. So um, I'm going to bring in just a little bit closer. And now I've cut these. This is going to be the arrow. And these are one and three quarters inches long. And it is one and a quarter wide. And the first thing I'm going to do is, well, it doesn't matter if they're together right now. Um, I'm going to mark this. Now, I normally just kind of wing it, but I am going to mark it in the middle. And let's see, I'm going to actually put it so that I can see. Whoops, <laughs> I'm not even in the picture. Okay, I'm going to have to move up my washi so I don't go to another spot or let me pull another piece of washi okay so I cannot go past this <laughs> sorry about that okay so I have got my glitter paper and I'm actually gonna put it in so that I'm looking at the middle of this so it's like at one in it and like the eighth inch mark and eighth inch mark over here and I just do that because it works easier for my brain. <laughs> and so I'm just going to make a mark in the middle, but whatever it takes you to get to the middle. So it would be at 5 eighths. Okay. And, and then you're going to go all the way to this corner when you cut it. So that's all you need is one mark. And oh, let's go ahead and draw a mark right to the corner. And I still am a thing. Okay, I'm not supposed to go past that. Um, I need somebody here to yell at me <laughs> whenever I go out of the um, line of the camera. Okay, so I am going to make a line so it's so it's in the shape of an arrow. And hopefully you see it good enough. And I'll bring it up to the camera so that you can see it. So it, it's kind of got, so I've kind of made a V. see it there and now I'm gonna put these two together because they'll match up better if I cut them together and so I'm gonna start in the V and I'm and I can see my line is not perfect so I am gonna actually cut on the outside of this and cut to that corner and try to line it back up again and then do the same thing again, but this time I'm going from this side of the V because I couldn't cut it the other way. I mean, I wouldn't be able to cut it good the other way. Now, I can feel it kind of moving on me, 
but I'll just try to get it. I mean, I think it's going to be a fine anyway. Yep, looks good. Because you just don't want to see any... I mean, if there's any white, you can actually cut it at the end because I've done that. And remember, you're actually going to make one this big, not this big. Well, maybe you want one this big. Um, I figured since it's 10 inches long, I could actually put it on my scrapbook. So then you're going to want to take your glue and you want to give, um, I mean you don't want it too thick because otherwise it'll be squeezing out and I kind of want more in the middle where the, where the stick is and I can see I've got kind of a little bit too much to this one corner so I'm just going to push it over there and then I'm going to lay my skewer on it and I'm going to put the pointy edge in here. And I'm going to try to bring it down close to the end because I don't want it much bigger than what it is. And the feather is going to add some size to it. So I'm going to kind of hold that for a second, let it dry. And um, I'm going to put, now it's like I didn't get too much glue on that one side, so I'm going to put a little extra on this side. And otherwise, I'm going to concentrate it most to the middle where the skewer is. So, but I don't know if you can kind of see that. <laughs> kind of do that to get it. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Kind of. Well, I got more glue in the center anyway. Okay. So, now I'm going to line that up the best I can and get it on the skewer and also I'm trying to pull it down to where they meet and I'm going to kind of push it in the middle so it kind of creases around that skewer and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do it again so you'll kind of see the skewer and since I haven't made one this big, I can see it's um, kind of a little harder than with the other, but I want you to be able to see it good, what I was doing. And I'm going to try to straighten this up a little bit, but maybe it's not because it's, it's already kind of glued. But I kind of push it to where you kind of see it, um, the skewer indented in there. And it feels like it's already dry already. So now I'm just going to trim off the other part. And hope these scissors work good for this. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to cut off anything that's white because we just want the pink glitter. Okay, and then this one here, too. And I always start out with the rectangle first because it just seems like it's easier um, to get the arrow shape good. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. It's already stuck well. Um, I can see a little bit more white here. I have, um, you could maybe, if you had that color glitter pen or something, you could probably just kind of fill it in. But, I mean, I can kind of see this. Oh, and actually, it looks like I could put more glue in here. And sometimes I do that. See how it's kind of open there? Because sometimes you just don't have enough glue in the right spots for it to connect. So, but with this thin little nozzle, I can get it in there. And, and then again, just press it until it's good. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. And it's actually pretty close together considering um, how much I can actually see it in the camera. So, but we could just take a little pink marker or something. I'm sure I got a pink marker that I could run through there. Okay, and you know what? I'm gonna save these pieces because they are big enough to make a little one. 
when I cut them down to the right size. Okay, and then we're going to go on to the feather side. And now when I am making a little one, I might have a feather like this. But when you look at the feathers, I don't know which one will be easier for you to see, but I, let me show you this one. But when you look at these feathers, the big feathers, down here, you will find that there's like, it looks like there's a little feather connected to it. See that right there? So it's like there's this little feather that's just connected down at the bottom. And that's what I pull off to make the little arrows. So when, I mean, it's like I, I've got so many <laughs> full feathers because I've done this a lot. And I've, I've made um, like Mardi Gras um, pins with masks and I use feathers on that. So it's like I've used a lot of these little parts. And so I, I've got a whole bunch of these. I said I need to sell the big feathers because I've used all these little tiny pieces. But And here's one here. I'm going to show you this too. Um, here's this brown feather. And on this one, there's actually two of these. Whoops. There's two of these that I can pull off. So there's that one. It was on one side. And then on the other side, see how this is separate? And so that's what I would take for making the tiny arrows because this is going to be too big. So see that there and it's connected to the arrows. So when you go out to buy arrows, to me this is the hardest part to find, that extra little feather on there. And because um, the little teal ones that I made, they are feathers that my mom had given me and so it's like I'm pretty much out of those except for some super tiny ones and um, so if if you want any of those they're in the store <laughs> but um, oh there's another piece of that oh I guess I got another good piece of that little arrow thing okay so then you just pull this off and it separates real easy and that's what you'd use for your your tiny arrow and see this would be a little too big for the toothpick but I mean you could you could still make a, air, a feather or an arrow with it. You'd just have to, you'd have an awful big feather, but you could always do maybe a skewer and cut it down or like a popsicle stick skewer or something like that if you wanted to make some different size ones. You just have to, you know, make your um, arrow according to your feather size, I guess. So, um, so I'm going to go back to this one again, now that I've, that's, that's the secret. <laughs> the secret to those little tiny feathers. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this on here, and I'm going to come up kind of high onto the thing, onto the arrow, and I mean onto the feather. Oh, that's why I called it a thing. Okay, I'm going to try to keep it under 12 inches, so I'm going to come all the way up here because I want to be able to use it on a scrapbook page if I desire to. So, and I know you can't see the whole thing, but you're going to want to see this part when I wrap it. So, okay, so I'm going to put glue on the stem of the feather or whatever they call it when it's on a feather. And I'm just putting it right down the middle. And I know there's probably a name tip for this, but I don't know what it is. And if there's one side of your um, arrowhead that you like the best, you're going to want to put that, you know, towards the up, towards the bottom side, because the, this will be the back of your arrow. And my feather's kind of rounded, so it doesn't really want to grip. So it might take me a second here to of holding it. So, let me pause for a moment while that dries and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, 
Now it is not really wanting to stick to this, but I think it's because these maybe are probably, I'm sure they're probably bamboo, but it really doesn't matter if it sticks. I mean, it's really, the only reason why you glue it is to hold it while you're doing the wrapping. Okay, you're gonna make, take the string like this and then make like a loop. And so you're gonna hold it and it's gonna look like this. Whoops. <laughs> I'm really uncoordinated with the whole camera thing. <laughs> so you're gonna have this loop. Um, Cause you gotta have this like little hangy down part here on one side and then the other side's longer. So I've got it hanging down I mean, even when you're using the little ones, making the little thing, you still might want it about a half an inch below just for, um, to hold on to. And then you're gonna lay it against your arrow. And I'm working from the back, what I'm gonna call the back. So you're gonna have it like this. And you're not tying that at all, it's just the loop. And then at the, with the long end, you're gonna wrap it around here and see how you're just wrapping nothing's tied and you're just gonna keep on wrapping and I can feel the little stem of the feather and I'm just gonna keep on wrapping until you got like a roll of wrapping here and you might want to kind of pull this back to this one side just because it'll be easier if it's not wrapped into the feather. And you just keep wrapping it. And when you look down here, you have you end up with like a little bit of loop that is still sticking out because of just holding on to it. it it's like you end up with like a little bit of a loop there, but that's okay. You just continue wrapping as far up the feather as what you want it or until you're about out of loop because you got to keep that loop there and then you're going to take the end of it and run it through the loop to the other side and it kind of messes up I mean your arrow look or your feather looks kind of messy there but that's okay so you just pull it through to the other side and then down here, that little string that you have, you pull on this. And when I make the little ones, I always have a needle nose handy because it's like holding on to that little skinny string is hard to pull on it. And you're just pulling this string at, with the loop, you're pulling it down into the arrow. And for some reason I knew how to do this, but I don't even know how I knew how to do this. But So when I started making them, I just knew how to make them. <laughs> Unless it was from, a, maybe it was from a previous life. <laughs> okay, and then you can cut that off right there at the top because this was pulled down inside. And so there's your arrow. And then you can kind of get it back into shape. And this is gonna be the side that you use for the front that side looks better and then this part here you will have your little bit of loop that's maybe hanging down there but that's okay and then you just cut off this part and let me zoom or pull back and see if we can get the whole arrow in there so there's your arrow and I think it's gorgeous I love the colors of it. So I might just put that at the top of one of my scrapbook pages. Okay, so now I am going to show you how to make a little one. So there's one big one. And we'll just set that here. Okay, now I actually took a feather like this and I just broke a piece off here because I didn't have any more that had that little well, there's like a little bit here, but it's pretty sh shabby looking. So I just took a piece like this and broke this end off. And that one, so this one looks pretty good. And it's just a tip. And 
So that's what I'm going to use for my arrow back. And then I'm going to do again. Now this is just a half an inch by half an inch. And same color. And again, I'm just going to measure to the middle, which will be a quarter an inch on this. And lots of times I just eyeball these. And if you put your two pieces together, back to back, you'll have more of a chance of having it line up right. Okay, so I'm just going to start at that. It's pretty easy to get to the other end without, you know, going off track. Except for I did get kind of a square edge, so I'm going to go back and cut it again. Okay, now I don't want to lose where what I want to put together, so I'm going to keep it like this and I'm going to turn it this way because that's how I glue. <laughs> and so then I'm going to put the glue on here just like I did the big one. And so for the glue is not coming out. Let me see if I can get you closer without. Um, and not lose my spot. Okay, where is it? My tape. Okay. So again, I'm putting the glue. I don't want it spilling out the edge, so I'm putting a little bit by the edge, but most of it in the middle. And taking my toothpick. Oh, and I noticed that some of the toothpicks were kind of wonky. So make sure you got a good one because you want your arrow to fly straight. And then um, I'm going to put a little gl glue on this one. And remember, this is the direction that I wanted it because I turned it all around the right way. So I want to keep my point at the top because otherwise um, they might not match up. So I'm going to put most of my glue in the middle. I'm not even going to worry about the outside. If it doesn't match, I'll just squeeze it in later. Now I'm just sliding it until it meets in the middle. Hopefully it doesn't stick before I got it there. And again, I squeeze it around that toothpick. And, and you kind of see that shape of the toothpick coming through that. And then I flip it over and do the same thing with my nails. And I'm squeezing out some of the glue there, so that's okay. It looks pretty good. See, it's a little easier to line them up and not have part of it sticking out like I did with the with the big arrow. And again, I am going to decide what I want for the front. If I want one over the other. So I'm going to put the glue on this side and it's a lot easier, let me tell you, to get the glue to stick on this than it was on that the big arrow. And I think it might have been just the wood is a little different. This is like more absorbable, I think. Because I didn't have one take that long to to stick before. So it's pretty much already stuck on there. So I'm going to put a lid on my glue. And I don't know if I want to use this. I think it might be too too um thick for that. So I'm going to use my, this is just crochet thread, but it's got a, like a sparkly thread running through it. I don't know if you can see it in the camera good or not, but I don't know if that helps. You can kind of see the sparkle, but so I'm going to cut off a length maybe, oh, it's probably 10 inches. Okay. And again, I'm going to do the loop. So you, you kind of make like a U and you just pinch it together at the bottom. Um, it doesn't really matter how long you, 
how long of the string you have here the, on the short end. You can leave it as much as you want, kind of pull it out, and then you put it up against your, oh, this arrow is not sticking either. Maybe it's, maybe it's the red ones. <laughs> but I'm just going to push it up against there a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to put that loop, and again, it really doesn't matter how big the loop is there. And remember, do not glue it, because otherwise you will not get that wrapped around, but you've got to be close to that part of the arrow, that end because that needs to be in your wrapping. So I'm going to pull it up to where I can feel my finger hit it. And then I'm going to start wrapping it. And then um, sometimes it's like it pulls it around your string and your arrow and everything. And it's like, that's okay. I'm, I'm not going to worry about it um, because they're, they're all beautiful when you're done. I mean, they're all one of a kind. And you just keep wrapping around this white against this red will be really pretty too. Okay, and see how far do I got to go before I hit the top of the toothpick. I'm actually really close to the top of the toothpick. I can maybe get one more. So um, I don't have I don't have too much I didn't do too much wrapping and I was I'm pretty close to the top of the toothpick so I'm gonna quit you don't want to go off the toothpick because otherwise you're just wrapping feather and I would say sometimes the hardest part is you could use one more hand to pull that string through there without trying to grab a feather and I made it through that <laughs> made it through there okay So I'm just trying to get that out of the way. And now I'm gonna, and this is the part that you pulled through the loop, the part that you were wrapping with. And now I'm gonna pull this down and I forgot my needle nose pliers. Can you hand me those needle nose pliers over there? They're right underneath that light. Cause this heart, this, the small string is harder to pull on. So this, I just use the needle nose pliers, grab a hold of it because you you want to pull that loop down through the wrapping because that's what pulls your string down in there so it doesn't come undone and then you've got a little bit of a loop here and it's just from I mean if you had it close if you got it close enough to your fingers you know you wouldn't have the loop but I always end up with a little bit of a loop so that's that one and then you cut this off and you don't want to cut that loop off that, you know, even though it's there. Oops. My scissors are not working for this. Okay. They cut the other one really good. Okay, so I'm just cutting all this off. Without trying not to cut the feather. Okay. And there's the second one. And... If you would like to have this feather, if you like this this video, and if you okay, so if you would like to win this arrow, I will do a drawing in two weeks, and all you do is have to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, like this video, and leave a comment, and I won't comment back because um, otherwise my name will end up <laughs> stuck amongst the things. So if, if you want to ask me any questions about these, you'll just have to ask me in one of the other videos that I have. But um, otherwise, just subscribe, like, leave a comment, and in two weeks from today, I will do a drawing. So, and this is the one that you will get because I don't think I could mail this <laughs> through the mail very easily and it will be worldwide so anybody anywhere in the world I will mail this to you if you win the drawing so thanks again these are some of the other arrows that I made and I do have some for sale in my shop and I will look, link that at the bottom of the video so thanks for watching have a great day